Hi everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about what is the VMware evaluation of use cases for DPUs. DPUs means data processing units. So before understanding what is the evaluation of use case for DPU, it requires to know about few basic concepts and first we can quickly recap our what is the VMware vSphere 8 architecture for modern computing and what is a DPU or smart NIC. So DPUs another name is smart network interface card and how does the DPU look like and what are the key components of a DPU and why a why is a DPU or network smart NIC essential? That means important. And how, how to build a flexible and open ecosystem of DPU solutions? And what are the choices of DPUs from leading silicon vendors? And what is the evaluation of use cases for DPUs? And then we'll try to compare what are the differences between CPU, GPU, and DPU data processing unit and finally what is the recommended processing units for next generation architectures okay so all these 10 key points we can discuss now so what is the vmware 8 architecture for modern computing we are already aware so this week vmware officially announced in vm vmware explore 2022 so vsphere 8 is released so vsphere 8 the main uh, architecture consists of it is also required your physical resources and along with physical resources we need a traditional cpu and we need a graphical processing unit and data processing unit these two are plays a major key role within our vSphere 8 architecture and when you see the cpu the cpu main functionality and use cases is for business applications and when it comes to the gpu graphical processing unit is mainly for graphics intensive ai and machine learning applications and also a, some video analytics applications and of course gaming it require a gpu processor and when it comes to the big data and infrastructure and data services we require a data processing unit so whatever the functionalities we have within the uh, CPU, all these functionalities are offloaded few functionalities to GPU and a few functionalities to DPU. Okay, that is the main importance of our new next generation vSphere 8 architecture and it will support definitely for all the next generation applications until the next decade. Okay, and vSphere 8 is nothing but a, the enterprise workload platform with the modern computing architecture. Okay, now let's focus on a DPU concept now. Okay, what is the what is DPU and how it is looks like? What is importance, key components? And, uh, and then we'll talk about the evaluation of DPU. Okay, so what is a DPU means data processing unit and another name is smart NIC card because if you see this name smart NIC means we can understand what is the functionality of DPU data processing unit. So let's talk about what is a DPU. So just for our visualization view, normally if you consider a, it is also another name a smart NIC means let's say we are taking a one network interface card. So logically network interface card is looks like this. And if we add that network interface card with a processor. So if you combine both network card and processor that will become a DPU data processing unit. So that's the reason it's become as a smart NIC card. Normally network card we know network interface card we can use to communicate between two or more devices. But along with the network card, the additional functionality is the innovation is we are able to inbuilt network card with a processor. That is nothing but a smart NIC or we call it as data processing unit. Hope you got an idea now what is DPU. So here is the description. A smart NIC is a network interface card with a built-in processor known as a DPU that can be managed separately from a host CPU. Okay, it's not about a host CPU, it's a separately managed. Okay, and this means that networking, security, and storage services 
can directly on the network interface code instead of relying on the host CPU. That means whatever the services earlier, we are using a traditional onboard CPU. Some of the services are offloaded from host CPU to our new processor that is data processing unit. OK, and another key point is in essence, the DPU is a system on chip. OK, in short form SOC and that allows a high performance network interfaces able to process data at much faster rates. OK, and but two key aspects of your DPU as it's related to VMware portfolio. So VMware portfolio mainly focus on two ask aspects. Those two aspects are including the capability to offload workloads from an x86. x86 means our any 86 processor, x86 host processor to a DPU data processing unit. And as well as as providing an additional layer of security by having an air gapped environment running some of the processes. So air gapped is nothing but a we, it's can completely a di disaggregated from our existing CPU process. OK, and that is the importance of DPU or smart NIC. OK, now let's talk about how does it looks like. So this logical view we are aware, but in the physical view is like, okay, let's take your physical view is one of the, this is the physical network interface card and it, but it's also can have a one CPU socket inside. So this CPU socket is mainly to insert a one of the processor. That processor name is, here we have a Mellanox Bluefield DPU processor, data processing unit and the vendor for this processor is NVIDIA. OK, so this processor we can insert in this CPU socket. Then this uh, card is become as a DPU or smart and network interface card, smart NIC. OK, so once you insert that card is looks like this. OK, so this is the DPU, how it looks like. And this card, if you see here, this slot is can be inserted in a PCA slot, peripheral component internet connect, and it have a two ports, dual ports are available. OK, the more information of key components, I will explain you in the next slide. OK, so now we'll talk about what are the key components of a DPU, a deeper look. OK, so deeper look is like this. So the key components, let's start from left to right. Let's say we have mainly two ports. The first port is mainly for a management Ethernet and same like our normal network card. We have a RJ45 registered jock 45 and it's mainly for management Ethernet and we also have high speed Ethernet. So express pathway express pathway connection also available so we can use any of the connection either high speed Ethernet or management Ethernet and in addition if you see inside we have a processor socket and it's running with a DPU processor and it is a high speed interconnect and programmable accelerator. Accelerator is nothing but a co-processor. We already have a on motherboard. We have a one processor, traditional processor. Along with this, we have a co-processor that is the DPU. And it also in, inbuilt some of the chips, flash, and it also have a virtualized device functions like NVMe, non-volatile memories, and also have a, some of the drivers, VMX net drivers and PCI, peripheral component extension or Ethernet connections. And fast, it will also helpful for the fast path offload and also the slow path processing. And the CPU mainly for run network and storage services on the DPU and saving the x86 CPU cycles. So we are reducing the load on our traditional CPU. That load is offloaded from host to CPU to our DPU. OK, and improving the it will help to improving the performance of our traditional host CPU also and traditional hope CPU, whatever the resources are remaining on the traditional CPU that can be utilized for our production applications. OK, and the DPUs can expose virtual devices to the x86 server and enabling support for bare metal servers, even for bare metal servers, it will enable the support. And in addition, large number of physical and virtual device functions, it's available in a virtual device functions area. OK, so this is a deeper look for a DPU functionality. So it have this many 
key component that is the reason our dpu is used for not only for vSphere 8 product even this dpu is used for uh, to accelerate the processing and performance in nsx layer and we can also use it for vsan virtual san 8 and we can also use it for a vcf vmware cloud foundation uh, it will helpful for private cloud and hybrid cloud environment so we have so many capabilities and use cases specifically for this dpu data processing unit now let's talk about why is a dpu is important or essential so why is a dpu or smart nic essential essential means it's important or vital role why dpu is playing a vital role the key thing is the dpu's mission is to offload accelerate and isolate infrastructure workloads so so we have to remember these three keywords one is offload and accelerate and isolate. Generally, offload means take over infrastructure task from the server CPU, so more CPU power can be used to run applications. One uh, best example is, suppose in our office environment, if your workload is very high, if you have a more work, usually what we can do, we can share our workload to our co-workers or colleagues we can share some of the work so that our workload will be completely balanced among our teammates so similarly even if you have only one motherboard processor definitely all the processing cycles specifically for the infrastructure services compute network storage all the load is running on only on a traditional onboarding cpu central processing unit but when you start using a dpu data processing unit the importance is it will take over infrastructure task from the server cpu whatever we have on board traditional cpu that task will some of the tasks are ta take over from the server cpu so that our cpu power can be used to run applications so that means some of the resources are free so that cpu can be effectively used for our production workloads so that is nothing but a yeah, offload and another point is accelerate accelerate is generally quick general meaning is quick or uh, speed up so to speed up accelerate what we can do is run infrastructure functions more quickly than the cpu can using hardware acceleration in the dpu silicon when compared to cpu dpu have a more quick run, quick running functionalities okay and isolate isolate general meaning is separate that means what it will do is move key data plane and control plane functions to a separate domain on the dpu both to relieve the server cpu from the work and to protect the functions in case the cpu or its software is compromised okay so that is the importance of why the cpu is important the dpu is important and plays a vital role okay now let's talk about the another point how to build a flexible and open ecosystem of dpu solutions so the dpu solutions currently in in current market vmware is jointly working together with the technology partners and obm partners technology partners like involves nvidia intel and amd these are the technology partners are providing a dpu data processing unit solutions and this cards where we can insert is we need a server vendors or OEM vendors. OEM means original equipment manufacturing vendors. The most popular vendors are Havilad Packet Enterprise, IBM or Lenovo and Dell. Okay, so using this uh, six vendors and six partner ecosystem, VMware is providing the DPU solutions, all are the joint solutions. For example, one solution is coming from, if you buy a, any HPE server, the HPE ProLiant latest model generation 10, all the ProLiant server, while initial procurement itself, it will comes up with a AMD Penasando GPU, a DPU processor. So DPU, AMD Panasonic DPU is inserted by default with a HPE ProLiant Generation 10. And similarly for Lenovo servers comes with a Intel DPU and also Dell servers comes with a NVIDIA DPU. Even sometimes we may also use the different combinations with the server vendors. That is option also, customization also possible. 
Okay, so this point only I highlighted here. River is the broadest portfolio of DPU solutions and deploy on integrated platforms from the leading server vendors or OEMs. OEMs means original equipment manufacturers. Okay, these are all the most popular manufacturers in the world. Now, let's talk about the another key point. What are the choices of DPUs data processing units from leading silicon vendors. So silicon vendors, as I mentioned, we have three vendors, right? So same way the choices are three choices. Either you can use Intel DPU or you can use AMD Panasonic DPU or the cards are looks like this. And even similarly, you can use another vendor NVIDIA DPU. OK, so based on our customer choices, we can choose the respective silicon vendor DPUs. OK, either Intel, AMD or NVIDIA and Pensando was actually it's a separate company, but recently it was acquired by AMD organization. So now Pensando become as a AMD only. So the most popular DPU silicon vendors are Intel, AMD and NVIDIA. OK, now it's the time to discuss about what is the VMware evolution of use cases for DPUs OK, or smart NICs. The evolution is not now. It was started earlier since 2016 onwards. OK, so 2016 to 2018 VMware, they in they started like level one and that is mainly for composable and disaggregated infrastructure evolution. So this evolution initially it started with only software and then during that time no fabric assistant assist okay and later on 28 between 2018 and 2020 level 2 support level uh, dpu is in a level 2 and that time we have only software with enabling hardware platform and fabric assist so initially they start with a fabric assist and 2021 to 2022 it's a consider as a level three stage during the level three. It's a DPU is now the comes in with a enhanced features accelerator offload partial fabric offload. So now we know about the keywords accelerator offload. OK, so these functionalities are the key functionalities for the DPU. Now this currently we are at the level three stage okay within the level three there are multiple stages accelerator means co-processor function offload and mainly for a platform decentralization and distribution computing platform architecture so within the distribution computing platform architecture means it comes with a multiple vmware products it's supported for vmware products vSphere, virtual san it will support for vmware nsx and also the private and public cloud product which is vmware cloud foundation so that means the main key components in the stage one is virtual networking and stage two is distributed security and fully embedded offload. The first two ones to virtual networking distributed security means it comes under the specifically for the NSX platform and the full embedded offload and cloud native workload optimization means it is also comes under the Kubernetes or enterprise Kubernetes great platform, which is VMware Tanju. So all these products VMware officially come compute network storage and application and also the uh, automation level all the vmware products and also the cloud based models this dpu evaluation and dpu use cases are completely supported okay and finally full management offload and entire management usage from our traditional cpu completely offloaded to dpu and the storage services also offload OK, and still the VMware is in a continually doing the research. R&D is in progress and they are in the part of the uh, next level improvement plan. That improvement plan may be they may expected their visionary is in 2023 or later and which will be the level four. During that time, what their plan is, their vision is to where uh, DPUs should come with a full CPU subsystem degree di disaggregation and full fabric offload that is their visionary for the next year 
okay but current year there are as they mentioned earlier during the vm world two years ago similarly they launched this dpus we, it, the product name called vsphere on dpus or we call it as vsphere dsc distributed services engine so uh, the importance of vsphere distributed services engine i will talk talk about in the next session okay so but here try to understand the importance of dpu this dpu is not only for vsphere 8 it will also support for other vsphere platforms infrastructure services to offload our main functionality of workload from the traditional cpu and it's distributed to the dpu processor okay hope you got the some clear picture on dpus and now let's understand what are the differences between cpu gpu and dpu so cpu means looks like this is a logical icon and gpu logical icon we know it's a graphical processing unit and the dpu means it's a combination of network card with built-in processor so this is icon for dpu logical icon and see the actual physical view logical view we have an idea so for the physical view i took the example of intel not only intel we also have a processor for other vendors amd and arm processor multiple vendors and given graphical processor i took the example of intel so intel how the gpu is looks like is this is looks like gpu is how the physical view is here and same way another one is dpu processor intel dpu processor how it is looks like it's same like network card and it's in built with a processor okay but the main key difference is cpu is comes with a several cores and the gpu comes with many cores and the dpu also almost similar as gpu dozens of cores and the cpu have a low latency and the gpu have high throughput and because it's a main course and here higher degree of versatility when it comes to dpu and additional different another difference is ideally for serial processing within the cpu and ideally for parallel processing and ideal for big data processing okay and cpu handles handles of handful of operations at once and the gpu handles thousands of operations at once and dpu also same like gpu handles thousands of operations at scale okay and now the main functionality of application cpu is mainly for a business applications and gpu is for graphics intensive artificial intelligence machine learning applications and also a video analytics applications and of course gaming the mainly we can use gpu process and this now when it comes to the dpu it's mainly for the infrastructure data services and also the big data applications okay so that is the main difference between cpu gpu and dpu okay now let's understand what is the recommended processing units for next generation architectures as we know modern applications are already running with a containerized applications kubernetes and also function as a service and so many other platforms including the devops applications are running in our it infrastructure so let's understand what is recommended processing units for next generation architectures so normally for the traditional applications we are using a common processor and processor comes with a dual core to until we have a dual core quad core octa core 32 core and so on but within the processor the main key functionalities are application business logic and operating system application control flow software defined input output and security these are the key functionalities of cpu but this is supported for a all traditional application but for the modern applications or next generation applications if you are planning to use a normal cpu definitely you will end up with a performance issues and so many challenges and compatibility issues so to address that what we have we have a additional cpus gpu and dpu if you see the this diagram all the modern applications or next generation applications is running on not only a single cpu it is running on multiple process cpu gpu and dpu if you see the left side diagram within the cpu whatever the processing it is doing these roles are offloaded to few roles offloaded to gpu and some other roles are offloaded to dpu for example in this diagram the left side one have a 
application business logic. But in when it comes to the next generation architecture, this application business logic instead of CPU, it is distributed to graphical processing unit. So that is taken care by GPU processor and GPU processor means generally we can use for AI applications, data center, artificial intelligence and also the edge artificial intelligence we can use for a GPU based architecture and similarly uh, another if you see this of our left side diagram cpu software defined io and security this roles also distributed to dpu processor okay that means offloaded these roles from host to cpu to dpu so that we have a resources will be available on our product cpu and this cpu can be used for a traditional application and professional virtualization or any other application and dpu can specifically use for data analytics and machine learning or any other specific project related big data applications so this is how the next generation architectures are distributed so Remember that when we are preparing the architecture solution architecture designs, not only the ha hardware information, we should also plan to focus on new generation of process GPU, DPU, okay, along with our traditional CPUs. Now, if you recall a, a movie, a Spider Man movie, the famous dialogue is with great power comes great responsibility. So, similarly, with the next generation applications comes next generation architectures. Okay, so that's it for today. Hope you understand the concept of DPU and how it is looks like and what is difference between CPU memory, uh, CPU, uh, GPU and DPU. Okay, and that's it for today. Thank you. If you are watching this video first time, please do view, like, share and subscribe to my channel and cloud garage if you are already subscribed i appreciate all your support bye for now